Hi. Okay. Okay, team. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to yoga this evening. Thank you all for joining me again, once again tonight. Um, just to share with you my absolute gratitude for these sessions. They are helping to keep me sane. I know you guys, they're good for you guys as well, but I cannot tell you how good they are for me. So thank you everyone so much um, for coming to these sessions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do this evening is we're going to start off at slightly differently this evening. I've been listening to feedback from people. There's quite a lot of stress around at the moment, which is totally understandable with everything that's going on. Um, so what we're going to do, and there's also quite a lot of tension across the back of the shoulders, across the back of the chest as well. Um, I believe one of the things that we are being encouraged to do is to open our hearts even more. And that can actually um, show itself in tightness across the back of the heart. So we're going to do quite a lot of openings tonight, which you know is something I always like to do anyway. I like to open the heart. But we're going to do quite a lot of work across the back and the shoulders tonight. Now, if you're lucky enough to live with someone and have massages, wonderful. If you're not in that position and you live alone or you live with someone who doesn't want to give you a massage or you don't want to ask them for a massage, we're actually going to start on the floor this evening and we're going to start off working um, our body against the floor and we're going to use that as a massage. So we're actually going to start laying down tonight. So if you want to, um, if you have a strap, if you want to grab that, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And we're actually going to start laying on our backs tonight. So I'm just going to bring the camera in um, for this first part so that you can see me this evening. Wonderful. Okay. So just get yourself into a really lovely, relaxed position. If you do have a cushion and you would like to, you can place it under your knees. You can do that at any time um, you choose to. Sorry, there's someone who can't get on Zoom who's coming back in. Sorry, I'll just let this person in. There we go. Okay. So just if you have a cushion, pop, pop it under your knees. Don't worry um, too much. So okay. So just take yourself gently down onto your back. So you're in a lovely, lovely relaxed position. Just start with your knees bent. You can have your knees out and you can have your um, cushion just underneath your knees if that's better for you. And we're just going to start off in Savasa, just a really lovely open position. You can let your feet drop out to the side. You can open your hands up. Just put your hands to the ceiling. We won't stay here too long because I don't want you all going to sleep, are they? <laughs> so we're just going to start off by drawing the breath in through the nose, down the throat, into the chest, into the belly, and then just gently, gently exhaling. So lovely, gentle, deep breaths in, filling the chest, filling the belly, and then just exhaling. Now I know you all know how to breathe, if you want to put one hand below your bra strap on your solar plexus, just so you can feel that breath coming in and out, then please do that. Wonderful. And just lay there, just taking a few breaths. I'm just going to mute everyone. Sorry, guys. So really gently in with the breath and out. So breathing in, right 
come into that belly. Feel that belly with air and then just let that breath out. And there's a word I'd like you to focus on tonight. If you have another word you want to bring into your practice, please do. But one of the words I've chosen for this evening is surrender. So what we are doing is we're just surrendering everything that we are holding in our bodies. If we have any stresses or strains or fears or worries or woes or anything that's going on, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, as we breathe in, we breathe in fresh energy. And as we breathe out, the word we use is surrender. Just surrender and let everything, everything go. The breath in. And the breath out. Wonderful. And once again, don't be afraid to use it. Okay, on the next breath in, I'm just going to invite you to raise your arms up towards the ceiling. Imagine you're holding a basketball or a football between your arms. And then on a breath in, engage your tummy. And then as you breathe out, just lift one of your hands up towards the ceiling. So keep your hands facing each other. And with every breath in, just extend the hand up to the ceiling. Imagine that you're rolling that ball between your hands. So as you lift your left arm, you're just rolling the ball onto your wrist and then you're rolling it back down again. And as you do this, hopefully you will feel a lovely, lovely massage in the top of your back. Across the back of your shoulders, between your shoulder blades. So on the exhale, we're going out. You're engaging the lower tummy. Inhale as you come down. Exhale, lift those up. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Excellent, lovely. And I'm just going to invite you to take your hands and just give yourself a huge, huge hug. So grab the back of your shoulder blades and just take a lovely, long, deep breath in there. And then just exhale in that position. And one more, breathe in. As you breathe in, if you wanna just wiggle your fingers a little bit further out. And then just exhale, let that breath out. And then we're just gonna do one more there. Breathe out and just drop your hands gently down by your sides. Okay, team, grab your strap. And we're just going to lay that over our belly for a moment. I'm going to invite you to take a deep breath in. You might want to kick your pillow out the way now if you have got that under your feet. Deep breath in and just pull your right knee up into your chest. And then we're going to take a deep breath in, grab your strap, place it over the sole of your foot, and we're just going to extend that foot up to the ceiling. So just again, work with the breath. If you can have the back of your knee straight, great. But once again, never, ever, ever Put any excess pressure on. So take a lovely deep breath in. And then if as you breathe out, your leg wants to extend and you want to open up the back of your knee, then please, please do that. Allow your hands to just hang heavy. 
allow your shoulders to drop into the floor. So you shouldn't have any pressure or tension anywhere. It should be quite a lovely, um, relaxing stretch this. And what you're doing is you're allowing that blood to flow down into your body, which is a restorative, a regenerative, a revitalizing um, thing for us to do for our bodies. And that's what these yoga sessions are all about. Too. So again, really engage that breath and allow that to really, really have the desired effect. The word on the out breath is surrender. We are surrendering everything to the mat. As always, you come as you are to the yoga mat. Take both straps into the same hand as the foot. Take a lovely, long, slow, deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, just allow that foot just to drop out to the side as far as it comfortably, easily goes. Again, you are releasing, you are surrendering. There's no force, there's no push. We are just letting everything go. Your opposite hand, if you want to turn it up towards the universe in a receiving mode, then feel free to do so. And just see where your leg wants to go. Hopefully you're getting a beautiful, beautiful inner thigh stretch. And then we're just going to take a lovely, long, deep breath in. As we breathe out, engage the belly and just bring that leg back up. Deep breath in. Just bend that knee and allow the knee just to drop towards your armpit. So it's almost like a half happy baby. So the sole of your foot is flat to the ceiling. We're breathing nice and slowly and we're just again opening up those hips. Now remember girlies, and potentially the boys, I'm not quite sure about the boys, but the girls, we hold all of our tension, all of our emotions, all of our stresses in our hips. So hip openers are really very, very useful just for releasing and surrendering. Okay, wonderful, one more breath there. And on the exhale, we're gonna lift that leg. Just give it one more stretch if you're feeling that. Bring the knee down towards the chest, unhook the foot, drop the foot flat onto the mat and bring the opposite knee in towards your belly. Lovely deep breath in there. One more breath in. We're just going to hook the strap over the foot and again on an exhale, however suits your body, just extend that leg and just allow it really just to be suspended. It's almost like we're being suspended in time here. Yoga, the union with self. Just be in this moment.
so taking taking the strap into the outside hand and again lovely long deep breaths take a lovely big inhale and on an exhale just allow that foot to gently 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 just drift out to the side and just let that suspend itself there again. Find yourself in that beautiful open position, relaxing, relaxing, relaxing with the breath. Just drawing that breath in really letting that leg hip open however it needs to always always using the breath for the opening Deep breath in, engage the core and return the leg up. Again, if you feel you want to open out the back of that knee, wonderful. And just allow that just to be supported. Then take one strap in each hand. Sorry, keep both your straps in, in your outside hand. Error. <laughs> And then on a deep breath in, as we exhale, we're just going to drop that elbow down towards the floor and we're going to bring that knee down towards the elbow. Foot is parallel with the ceiling and we are in a half happy baby. Allow your other hand to drop out to the, the floor, open to the, the ceiling, open to the universe. We are receiving. We are receiving all the good that the universe has for us in this beautiful position of surrender. How blessed are we? Really use that breath, draw that breath into the body. Wonderful, wonderful. One more. Engage the belly. Bring that leg back up. Take that again up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. On the exhale, just drop that down. Unhook your foot. Put both of your feet flat on the floor and just lay there for one moment in that lovely um, open pose. I'm going to invite you to take a deep breath in and then just drop your knees to one side and let your head just roll to the opposite side. And just take a couple of long deep breaths in that position. Just really letting the body again open, 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 open. We're creating space in the body. Deep breath in. On the exhale, engage the belly. Pull the legs up. Breath in. Allow the feet to roll to the opposite side and the head to go in the opposite direction. Lovely couple of long deep breaths there. Deep breath in, engage, 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 engage. Lift your feet up to the um, Sorry, lift your knees up to the ceiling, arms above your head, stretch your arms up. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now we're going to do a reverse cat cow while we are in this position. So what I'm gonna invite you to do is you may want to just bring your feet slightly closer to your bottom. And then all we're going to do is we're gonna take a deep breath in. As we exhale, I'm just going to invite you to engage that belly and just tuck your pelvis. 
So it's almost like you're tucking your pelvis, you're pressing the knees away from you, and then you're breathing in and you're just flattening your back again. So this is the same as cat cow, but we're doing it against the floor. And this will also give you a lovely massage on your back as you're doing this. So breathing in, as we exhale, we engage again. And I'm just going to invite you this time just to press your feet very slightly into the floor and then drop yourself back down again. So what we're doing is every time we breathe out, we're just going to engage a little bit more and we're just going to lift a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. So that every time we breathe out, we engage our belly and we just lift a little bit higher. So you, what you'll find is you will start massaging your back. You will start lifting your spine vertebrae by vertebrae off the floor. And then as you breathe in, you just roll back down. So you imagine it's just a roll. Breathe out, engage that belly, press the knees away from you. And also see if you can pull the knees away from you as you roll back down. Mind you don't get cramped because I just felt a cramp coming then. And this will open up your spine. This will open, open, open your spine as you gradually roll closer and closer and closer to your bra strap. Rolling yourself up and rolling back down. On the out breath, really engage. Pull everything up, pull everything in. This is so good for your pelvic floor, for your spine, for all of those things. And also, you should be getting a beautiful, beautiful back massage as well. So we're going to do one more. I'm thinking you're probably going to be up the top. When you get up the top, stay up there. Stay up, lift your hands up and just... Give yourself a little hip swivel. So just swing your hips from one side to the other. And again, you will be giving yourself a beautiful, beautiful back massage. You can have your hands up above you. Then I'm going to invite you on a breath in. As you breathe out, put your hands down by your sides. Walk your feet towards your body. See if you can hold on to your ankles. And really walk your shoulder blades up under your body. So what you're doing is you're extending, extending the belly up to the sky. You're pulling the shoulder blades together. You're pulling the shoulder blades together. You're pulling them down. You're pressing down into your feet. You're really working those quads. You're lifting your hips up to the sky as high as you can, and you are breathing, hopefully. Don't forget to breathe. It's always a bonus. Wonderful. One last real stretch up into those quads. Then very slowly roll yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Wonderful. Stretch your feet out in front of you. Flex and point your toes. Just have a little walk while you're there. And then we just very slowly gonna bring ourselves up to a seated position. So probably the best way to do that is if you cross your feet and then just gently start to lift your feet up and pop them down towards the floor. So bring your knees up towards you and down. And what you'll find is you can have a nice little roll 
which again, this once again is going to really massage your back. Hold on to the back of your knees if you want to and just start to roll yourself. Have a go at your balance here. See if you can actually stop par way without rolling yourself right the way up. See if you can just actually balance. And then when you decide to, when you're ready, do one more roll. After you've balanced there for a while, drop your feet down and bring yourself round into a cross-legged position. Oh, I've broken my glasses doing that. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Sorry, I'm just straightening my mat. Okay, roll on to the side for one minute. Is that facing dog? Wonderful, okay. So we are sitting on the mat. Well done, team. That was a slightly different start for us, wasn't it, today? But that was what we needed to do today, apparently. Okay, so we're gonna now take ourselves. Where are we? Let's just do a couple, let's just do a couple of twists while we're sitting here. Okay, so nice and square. I have literally broken my glasses. Okay, so nice and square. So deep breath in, lift the shoulders, roll them down the back, opening the chest. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Deep breath in. As we breathe in, we extend our crown. We're going to take this hand to the back. Opposite hand, breath in, lift up. On the exhale, take it down to the opposite knee. No twist as yet. Breath in, extend the crown up to the ceiling. Again, invitation is on the exhale to just see where your body goes. You are not pulling with this arm. You are just allowing the out breath to create the stretch for you. Breath in, elongate, extend the crown. Breath out, see again where that twist takes you. And then just breathe in that position. Wonderful. So good for your internal organs, this guys. If you're holding any stress or tension, this will Ring it out like a dishcloth. Okay, gentle breath in. And then as you exhale, just allow that to unwind and uncurl. Wonderful. Okay, same the opposite side. So breath in. We're elongating. Hand to the back of the mat. Breath in. Arm up. Exhale, we're going to place that hand on that knee. Again, no twist yet. Breath in, lift that crown. Really draw that breath in and then release it and see where that release takes you. Does your body want to twist like this? Listen to your body. Breath in again. Lift up and just surrender into that twist that's our word tonight surrender i'm going to call this yoga set surrender and just surrender into your breath and surrender into that twist and surrender into your torso breath in and just allow that just to beautifully, beautifully, beautifully unwind. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Brilliant, team. Okay, we're going to take ourselves from here round onto a four-point kneeling position. So we're going to take ourselves onto our hands and knees here. And this is the position that we would normally assume for our cat's cow. We're going to do something slightly different tonight because we've already done our opening stretch. We did that on the floor, didn't we, as we were laying down. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to take a deep breath in. And as we 
inhale, sorry, we're going to do it on an inhale. We're going to inhale and we're going to open up. And then on the exhale, we're just going to come down. We're going to pull our tummy in and just allow that arm just to slide under the opposite arm. Breathe in. Open the chest. Up to the sky. Look up your hand if you can. And exhale back down. Just take that under there. Now, if you want to start adding, opening, opening, opening. If you want to start as you come back down, if you want to start adding a bend in the opposite elbow, if you want to take that further down, and drop your shoulder onto the floor. Turn your head to one side and just rest in that position. And just take a couple of deep breaths there. I can feel myself lifting my feet off the floor. Just be conscious, anyone else, if you're doing that. If you can, bring your feet back down to the floor. As you really relax into that position, this is a beautiful, beautiful shoulder stretch. Just breathe into that. If there's too much pressure on that, just unwind a little bit. If that really is too much pressure for you, perhaps you could just go down onto your elbow or just gently go under. Just see whatever feels right for your body. So deep breath in and just start to gently unwind that. Press into your opposite hand and bring yourself back up into a four point kneeling position. So we're going to reverse that. We're going to do that on the opposite side. Again, breath in. As you breathe out, engage your belly. Tuck your um, tuck yourself, pull yourself in. Make sure you're really, really holding on there. And then as we breathe in, we're going to open up the opposite side, look up to the hand, and just bring that back down. And let's go again. Breathe in. Pressing into the hand against the floor. Looking up. And just watching that rotation. One more. Every time you go round and underneath, just see if you want to go a little bit further. And do as many as you choose to until and if you feel you want to really thread the needle and drop down onto that shoulder. You can lift your bottom into the air. You can have your feet flat on the floor. You can have your toes into the ground, whichever works for you, but just breathe into that lovely, lovely stretch. This should be a beautiful, beautiful back opener for you. So just stay in that position for a couple more breaths. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so deep breath in, guys. Just start to press into that other opposite hand, engage the tummy and pull yourself back up into a four-point kneeling position. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to invite you now, guys, while we're on all fours, to take a deep breath in. Tuck the toes, tuck the toes under. On the exhale, push into the toes, press, press, press. Press your hands and your feet away from the floor and allow your bottom to lift up into the air. I'm gonna meet you in downward facing dog. So as always, walk your feet in this position. Just gently, Pressing each heel, your right heel, 
Then your left heel down into the mat. Just using your breath on the exhale. Just allowing that to happen gently, 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 naturally. And then you can lift up onto both of your toes. Drop both of your heels down into the floor. Tuck your head. Press out of your hands. Imagine someone's got a sling round your booty, round your belly and round your booty, and they're pulling it up to the sky. You're pressing your heels down into the mat. You're pressing your hands down into the mat. And you are creating that lovely, lovely downward dog, that lovely triangle. Wonderful. And again, this should be a lovely stretch for you. This is a surrender. We are once again, we are surrendering into downward facing dog. Wonderful. We're going to take a deep breath in. And what I'm going to invite you to do is take your right leg up to the front of the mat and bring yourself into that wonderful, wonderful runner's lunge. Brilliant. Okay. Then I'm going to invite you to take a deep breath in. Press into both of your feet. You might have to put your back foot slightly flatter on the floor. And we're going to go from here today up into a warrior one. So I'm just going to move the um, move the camera slightly there. So as you come through and up, we're going to take our arms up. We're going to press into that front knee. And again, make sure that is square. If your knees too far forward, you're putting too much pressure on your knee. So you want to be in that position. You're looking up to the sky and your hands are towards each other. Again, imagine you're holding that beautiful, beautiful ball. Wonderful. A few lovely deep breaths there. And then I'm just going to invite you to drop down onto that knee. Apologies, I seem to be facing away from you for some reason here, but that's as it is tonight. So we're going to take this hand, we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to draw that again up. We're going to open. And then as we exhale, we're just going to take that over the top. Now, it's probably quite nice to see from this angle because you might be able to see the sort of shape. But ideally, you may want to be making something like this as you're looking up under your arm. And then we're gonna press back into that shape. We're gonna come back down onto our hands and knees. Walk our feet back. If you want to drop down onto your all fours here, please do. If not, Take yourself into a lovely strong plank, extending your head and your neck. And then when you're ready, just drop down onto your knees and roll yourself down onto your belly. Wonderful, wonderful. Deep breath in there. Again, surrender. On the next exhale, engage your belly, engage your buttocks, engage your lower back. Start to lift your head, extend your head and neck outwards. When you run out of gusto, then use your hands. We never press up out of our hands. We just use our hands at the last moment. Again, working with the breath. If there is any pinch in your lower back, drop down. Never let your lower back pinch. Or drop down again. Engage your belly and come up again. And that will probably, hopefully, stop pinching your back. If it doesn't, drop yourself down. 
or you can always go in this pose. If that's more comfortable for you, just sit there on your, um, your elbows. Okay, breath in. Roll yourself back down onto the floor. Tuck your toes. Press, 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 press. Onto all fours if you choose to. Tuck your toes, deep breath in. And I will meet you in our lovely, lovely, lovely position, downward facing dog. Wonderful stretch, stretch, stretch there. Have a lovely, long stretch there. Deep breaths in again, releasing, releasing, releasing. We are surrendering tonight. Tonight is all about surrender. Deep breath in and bring the opposite foot up into a runner's lunge. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then from here, again, we're going to engage, breath in. You may want to turn the back foot out slightly. Bend your legs so there's no pressure in the knees. You know, get yourself really, really stable and then press up on the out breath, up into that warrior one. Hands up, looking up to the sky, up to the heavens. You're holding the ball or the moon, whichever. Whatever you're holding, perhaps you're receiving from the universe. However that works for you, wonderful. Dropping into the earth, surrendering into the earth. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, breath in. And then we're just gonna exhale. Bring that elbow down to your knee. If you want to, you can take your hand to the floor. It's entirely up to you. Then we're gonna breathe in. Breathe in the opposite hand, up. And we're just gonna breathe that over. Again, looking up, looking up above, under your elbow if you can. If that's not comfortable for you, just look to the floor. Look ahead. Whatever is comfortable, listen, listen, listen to your body. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Deep breath in. Open up. Back to the front. Drop both of your hands down. We're going to go one more time into plank. Hold there. And then we're going to drop down into onto our chest, onto the floor. Deep breath in. Hands by your chest. Exhale. Pull yourself, pull yourself, pull yourself, pull yourself. Engage your arms last. And we're going to go up into Cobra. Again, the heart is facing forwards. Beautiful, beautiful. Heart opening. The heart is facing forwards. Wonderful. Some lovely, slow, deep breaths there into that back. And then just lower yourself back down. Wonderful. And we're going to go one more time into a downward facing dog. Pull yourself up, down into downward facing dog. Press down into the feet, wonderful. Stay there for some lovely breaths. And then when you're ready, you can walk, step or jump your feet towards your hands and just take yourself into a forward bend. And just relax in that forward bend for a moment just while I change the screen. So as you relax in that forward bend, remember what you're doing. You are surrendering. You are surrendering to the earth. You are dropping every out breath. You surrender. If you want to do a lion breath, go for it. Wonderful. 
wonderful. And then when you are ready, deep breath in, engage the legs, just bend the knees slightly and just roll yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae into a standing position. Wonderful. We're gonna open our feet, turn them to the front. I need to put my video back a tiny bit there. <coughs> Great stuff, guys. Well done, everybody. Okay. We cannot do a class without Liz's favorite pose, can we team? <laughs> Okay, so we are now going to take ourselves into warrior two. Okay, so feet about like that. So slightly wider, deep breath in. We're going to roll the shoulders up, drop them down the back. We're going to tuck, we're pulling. We're just folding under. We're getting ourselves into a beautiful, beautiful upright standing position. Breath in. As we exhale, foot goes out to the side. Breath in. This foot comes in by five minutes. All of our, our body is still facing front. So our hips, our headlights, still facing front. Deep breath in. Arms out to the side. Extend the arms out to the side. Imagine you, there is someone standing either side of you, stretching, stretching, stretching your arms. We're going to take a deep breath in. As we exhale this time, we're going to drop into that front knee. So imagine you are standing tall and straight against a pane of glass almost. So check down. Your knee should be over your second toe. Your hand should be similarly over your second toe. Both your arms should be about the same height. Open your chest. Drop down more on the out breath. Drop into the earth. Open, open, open. Look over that middle finger. Send your intention exactly where you would like it to go. This is your yoga practice. Your union with self. What is your clear intention standing strong here in this moment on the earth what is your intention send that out on your breath team wonderful one more brilliant and then deep breath in as we exhale, we press into that front foot, bring your feet back to the front, drop your arms, heel toe your feet together, and just loosen yourself off. Just come up the door a bit there before I pass out. Wonderful. Okay, warrior, warrior. This way next, okay. <laughs> Deep breath in, prepare. Get yourself into a nice position. Open up your feet. Wonderful. Shoulders down your back. Chest open. Shoulders open. We are warriors, guys. We are standing strong amidst the storm. Our feet are firmly rooted into the earth. There is nothing is going to budge us off our path. That is what we're thinking. Okay, breath in. Extend the arms. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Sorry, I forgot to do the feet. Okay. Breath in, one foot to the side, breath in, turn the opposite foot. So you're standing, you're open, your chest is open, breath in. Drop yourself down into that, onto that, into that front knee. Extend your crown up to the ceiling, opening, opening, opening. We're opening here, we're opening here, we're opening our arms, open. Breathe in that energy, that oxygen, that air, and open, 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 open. And then one more, breath in. Turn your head, face your hands, drop a little bit more into that front knee. Look over that centre finger. What is your intention? Where are you sending your intention? 
Send that firm and true, standing solid on the earth. Shoulders down, crown lifted. Inviting that energy, surrender down into the earth. Lots to think about, but nothing to think about. Just let it happen and let it go. Wonderful, wonderful. Great stuff, team. Breath in. Feet back to the front. Drop your shoulders, drop your hands. I'm just going to invite you just to do a gentle, 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 gentle forward bend down to the earth. How are we doing for time? Oh my gosh. Okay, bend your legs, just let them release, release into the earth. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Okay, deep breath in. Press into the knees. Bring your arms up to the sky. And we're just going to drop down in this position into goddess. Okay. So we have our feet at about 10 to 2. We imagine we are holding here. You can imagine you're holding a beach ball. You can imagine you're holding the moon. You can imagine you're holding whatever works for you. Breathe in. And again, relax into that. Relax into the solidness of the earth. Just let everything just drop into that. And just breathe that energy in. Breathe in that beautiful, beautiful energy in. As you stand in the goddess pose. So this is goddess. This is the goddess within all of us. Whether we are male or female, we all hold a feminine and a masculine energy. This is about, this time is about awakening the goddess. Drawing. Going to invite you to take a breath in, extend to the ceiling, bring your arms down by your sides. If you're comfortable with your feet apart still, I would just like to do one more position while we're in this space here. Just feel we really need to do this tonight. This is the golden ball energy. So, sorry, the golden ball breath. Okay, so fingers at the ready team, at your chest. We're going to take a deep breath. Keep your um, shoulders dropped and your elbows lifted. We're going to take a deep breath in. As we breathe in, we are expanding our beings. As we breathe out, we are pulling that energy into our centre. So choose wherever you would like this energy to come into your being. Would you like it to come into your heart? Expand your heart and draw that energy into your heart. If you would like it into your solar plexus, expand yourself and contract that energy into your solar plexus. If you would like it into your sacral chakra, which is here, that is your sexual center. And it's also where you hold your creativity. Let's have some creativity as well. So just opening out, expanding and drawing that energy in wherever you're feeling you need that in your body. Expanding. If you're pulling into the heart, you may want to think about green energy. That's your heart chakra. If you're coming into your solar plexus, that is your connection with your power. That's how you connect with the world and the universe. That is your 
solar plexus. If you're coming into your sacral chakra, that is your orange, bright orange, burning like fire. Wonderful. One more. Draw that energy in and bring that into wherever it is in your body you need that and just hold that there for a moment. Just heel toe your feet together. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and just let your shoulders roll down your back and just drop your shoulders down your back. And just stand there and breathe. Again, we notice, no judgment, we just notice what is going on. Wonderful. Okay, brilliant. So, we are very nearly at a stage where we're going to go down on the floor. Just going to move in a tiny bit. So we're going to take a nice deep breath in here. Arms up, down and around. And if you can, if it feels good to you, just slowly drop yourself down into that nice open pose there. We're just going to open out the hips again. Just opening, opening, opening the hips. I really knack at this. <laughs> so just opening into frog. If you want to just relax onto your haunches like so, some very clever yogis can get their feet flat on the floor. Can you, Rose? <laughs> She's being all flash there behind, behind the chair. So she can put her feet flat on the floor and her hands together. I can't. <laughs> So again, just whatever suits your body. It's always about, as you know, whatever suits you. And then deep breath in. We're just going to put our, place our hands onto the floor. Take yourself in the best, most lady or gentlemanly-like manner you can onto your bottom. We're just going to put pop the soles of our feet together, whether that be here, whether it be there, whether if you can't do that, just take yourself into some sort of comfortable cross-legged position. I'm just going to hold on to my um, big toes with my first two um, fingers there and my thumbs. And I'm just going to very gently just flap like a little butterfly. Just opening out. Opening out here. Breathing in. Extending up. Again, dropping the shoulders down the back. Working with the breath. Wonderful. And then we're going to take a lovely long breath in. We're going to release those fingers. And we're just going to open our legs out. You may want to just pull that fleshy part out from underneath you. And just bring your feet to a nice active position. Lift your back, extend, extend, extend. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Bring your toes towards you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Again, dropping the shoulders down the back, lifting that crown, creating space between the ears and the um, shoulders. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Wonderful. We can take a lovely deep breath in. Place your fingers on the floor and just start to walk yourself forwards. Now, what I'm going to invite you to do again, as always, is just take your heart forwards, okay? Initially, just take your heart forwards. And then if you feel you want to, you can drop down a little bit more. Again, we're inviting this with a breath. So we're breathing in. And then as we're exhaling, we're just listening to the body and seeing what the body wants to do. Does it want to extend? If it does, allow it. If it doesn't, don't do it. Listen to your body. This is your yoga practice. Releasing, releasing, surrendering into the stretch. 
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, how good does that feel? Breath in. Just take the hands and walk, 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 walk back to the centre. We're going to breathe in here. We're going to walk our hands over to the right hand side. Really take your whole chest round, take the whole of your body round. And again, the same thing. We're going to breathe in, lift up, and then just walk the hands forwards. Take that chest towards the big toe. Again, another breath in. As many breaths as you choose to take and as many times as you choose to release. Breathing in. And just let it go. Surrender, 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 surrender. Your body will be so grateful just for this gentle surrender. Gently breathing in, walking the hands back up to the hip area, back to the centre. Breath in and take your hands round to the opposite side so your chest is facing the foot. Once again, breathing in, extending up, and then we're just going to take ourselves over towards the foot. Sorry, I've just seen the time. Sorry if anybody's in a, in a rush tonight. And just breathing into the relaxation. Just letting go in that space. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And one more there, breathing in. And just letting go. Wonderful. Breath in. Again, walk yourself up, 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 up. Come back into the centre and then just really gently just knock the back of your legs together and back into a central position. Give yourself a little roll and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> okay. So just release your feet wherever they are. What I'm going to do, it's now 10 past. I'm going to take you into a relaxation. I do apologise, I've gone slightly longer than normal. Um, if you do have to go, you're, if you want to leave without the relaxation, I totally understand. But I'm going to take you into a beautiful um, surrender meditation now. So if you've got your cushion, if you've got a cover, anything like that, get yourself all schnoogly woogly woogly. I will put some music on while you're getting yourselves all sorted out.